Hello everyone, my name is Kodamore and welcome back to Godot Basics. It's really important to understand the file system and import system that Godot has, and the import system is a little bit hidden if you don't know what to look for. Now, your file system here has a folder called res, which stands for resources, and this is the main folder for everything in your game. That includes any scenes you're going to save, all your images, sounds, scripts, and everything is going to go in this res folder. We can create a new folder here by right-clicking on the resources folder and selecting new folder, and I'll name this folder Textures. This is where I'm going to put all the images in my game. Now this resources folder is really just your project folder. So if you open up wherever you generated your project, you'll see that Textures folder we just made is just a normal folder on our file system. So you can either add files through your normal computer, or you can drag and drop into this file system here. So I'm going to click on my Textures folder, and I'm going to drag in two images that I have. I have an image of my player and an image of my tree. So of course, to draw one of these to the screen, we need to add a node to our scene. I'm going to add a child node, and we're going to add a sprite. Again, this is how we display an image in 2D. And of course, our sprite node requires a texture, so I'm just going to drag in my player image as the texture, and here is my image. Now this is fine, except this is a pixel art image, and this looks really, really blurry, and it's not pixelated at all. So that's where the import settings come in. Anytime you have a sound file or an image or anything in your game, if you click on it in your file system, and then you go up to this import tab next to scene, you're going to have a list of different settings for how to load that image or that resource into your game. For instance, here we're saying that this image, player.png, should be imported as a texture, which is usually fine for all your images. And there's a bunch of compression settings, flags, and everything. Now to get this to appear pixelated, we can uncheck this filter option and then select re-import. And our player now looks nice and pixelated, just how as I wanted it. We can do the same thing for our tree. We'll select my tree image, and we can turn the filter off and re-import. Or we can just go up to the preset menu, select 2D pixel, for meaning you're using 2D pixel art, and click re-import. And now our tree will act the same way. So if we click our sprite, and replace the image with the tree by dragging it in, our tree is now pixelated and not blurry. So anytime you have an image or sound file, be sure to check this import tab for various settings that you might want to change for it. 